Hi everybody, welcome to the Fragrance Lair, Steven here, and today I have for you is an unboxing and first impression. And today's unboxing and first impression will be off of Thermoglaze Take on Leather, Pure Leather. Now, this is a leather fragrance, and this was released in the year of 2012, October to be exact. Now, the notes on this is pretty interesting, I'll let you guys know what it is. You got leather, caramel, patchouli, coffee, vanilla, your honey, mint, milk, benzoin, tonka bean, amber, cedar, fruity notes, coriander, sandalwood, musk, lavender, jasmine, lily of the valley, bergamot, and some green notes. Interesting, interesting. Now, the um, according to the Fragrantica peoples, the main accords are first leather, second caramel, third sweet, fourth warm spicy. 5th Balsamic, and 6th Animalic. So, I was really interested in getting this because 1. it's Paramaglay, and 2. I've always was curious about leather fragrances, and I never really owned any that are really, like, good because it's just hard to find one, but that aren't very expensive. This was only, like, 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll give you guys the link down in the description about how to get this bad boy. So, let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, let's see, um, what I think about the box. I mean, the presentation is standard for me. Let's first get into the take off the plastic. You never know. Plastic is is a hindrance to me. Alright, now the box right around here as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little it's almost like kinda like kinda like um a leathery but not real leather, but it's like plastics and papers bent best attempt to make leather feeling on the box, but it's nothing. I mean, it's a cool. I like the. I like it. I like the um design. Nothing new from Terry, but nothing old. I mean, nothing bad. Now on the back you have like box. You can see like the little leather casing, leather surrounded around like here and stuff. All that. So um, yeah, it's 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces. Um, you got. The ingredients back on the back over there, and then let's see. Um, I'll read you a little description here. That's in English because that's the only language I speak. So let's see. Discover Amen Pure Leather, a creation inspired by manufacturing methods used by Gantier's perfumes perfumers. Partially matured in a vat containing fragments of leather, Amen Eau de Toilette ex excludes dark and fiery leathery overtones, providing Amen with Irresistible magnetism. Do not spray onto light colored clothing. Okay, so not. I mean, that sounds really interesting. I like the last part of, of the um vat containing fragments of leather. That's pretty interesting. Kind of cool. I'm really excited about this. And it has dark and fiery leathery overtones. That sounds exciting. Mixed with the um, caramel, the milk. The beeswax, not the beeswax, the honey, the patchouli, the mint with leather and chocolate and coffee. Oh boy, I'm excited. So, enough of the jib jabber. Let's get into the um, fragrance itself. Now, before I do that, I'm going to see if there's any more, more information to read to you guys. I knew something just dropped. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Well, these, these are like an invitation. Ooh, where are they inviting me? I've never seen this before. Wink, wink. I've seen this before. But hmm. um, is there anyone here worth reading to you guys? I don't know. I'll just read this to you. It says, um, "Under the sign of charisma, by choosing Amen, an elegant, sensual, fragrance-worthy of a victorious hero, you enter the viral universes." Today, Tamaglay, the interpreter of reinvented luxury fragrances, invites you to join his exclusive circle to share t totally new fragrance experiences. Sneak previews with precious trial sizes, personalized access to the designer's virtual space, spontaneous chat with his team. You too can take part in this unique experience. Alright, so, that in mind, let's get into the... Now... Also, this is a really, I mean, the leather, let's see, yeah, the leather, it's very, it has, a, it's like, 
it's a plastic leather. It's not real leather. I mean, it does its best to make it look leathery, but it's not real leather. It feels kind of it's, this the um the bottle really attracts like dust, and I don't even know what to call this, but it's very. I'm gonna do my best to clean it off before I get into it. Uh, all right. Well, the bottle. It's from a far, far look. It looks like the original Amen bottle, but when you really get close and looking into it, you can see like um, the little um, um, synthetic leather. It's um, faux leather. It's not real leather. I don't think it is, but I don't, it's not. Faux. It's not real leather. It's like a plastic kind of trying to be leather. That's the best example I can give about it. So, yeah. Bottles, nothing new here. The Thermoglade bottles, uh, I've ha I have so many Thermoglade fragrances. Ever since I got the first Amen, these bottles just kind of bore me. Nothing new, nothing old, but they're not bad. They're very distinct. There's only one fragrance. The second you see this bottle, you automatically know it's a Thermoglade fragrance. So, now, let's see what the top notes are going to be so I know what to look for. Um, top notes are as follows. you got leather, coriander, you got some lavender, green notes, fruity notes, bergamot, and mint. So let's spray it on and see. Now, one thing I noticed while looking through the perfume pyramid on Fragrantica, the top, middle, and base all have leather. That's interesting because usually fragrances that I've seen, they only have a note repeating once, either in the top, middle, or base. But this one, the leather repeats in all three stages of this fragrance. So that means you're going to be smelling leather when you first spray it on, two hours after you spray it on, and seven hours after you have it on. So that's interesting. So this is Thermoglaze allowing the um, wearer to be able to actually experience leather with different notes. So at the beginning, you could experience lavender with mint and fruit. And in the middle, you can experience leather with caramel, honey, and milk. And in the base, you can experience leather with musk, coffee, and tonka. That's interesting. I think that's really good. I like that. So let's see how much I like it now with actually spraying it on. Let's see. Wow. With this, the first initial scent, I get like a amen with a little animal cones to it. I do get a little mint in it also, but it's very, I mean, it's its good, but it's kind of, it's out of all the pures and um, amen flankers I've acquired over the years, this is by far the closest one to the original formula, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just a little disappointing because I was hoping for a little bit more, um, leathery blast to it. I mean you get some leather in it. It's not like a really strong dark fiery leather like it described on the box. It's a more mellow leather with the Amen DNA really taking over. Which isn't a bad thing. It just definitely was something I was expecting a lot more in this. But there is differences. There is, it is, there is differences in this for sure, but not extreme differences. Like, this is a lot more, um, animalic for sure. I mean, personally, I think on the, um, main accord on Fragrantica, the, um, animalic should be way up there. I mean, but it's still a very good fragrance. I get more coffee in this than I did the original Carmel. And the, um, original Amen, I get more, um, I get more chocolate, I get more patchouli, and I get more guitar. But in this, I get animalic tones, coffee, and caramel. So I would have to say on which ones I enjoyed more, either the Amen or this, the um, Pure Leather. I am leaning towards the um, original, because you can't beat the original. I mean, you can, but not this anyways. This one doesn't beat it. As it sits on your skin more, it becomes a little bit more leathery, I've noticed. 
but still not the leather I was hoping for. I was hoping for a very strong, potent leather. I just smelled like leather straight off a cow's skin. Something like that I was hoping for. It's more musky than it is leathery, if that makes sense. Because leather has a very distinctive type of quality to it where you can really get the, um, the, like, it's not animalic, but it is. It's just a lot, it's like a more l luxurious musk. A lot more high, en high end musk. But this is just, like, musky. Not a bad musk, but musky. It's, it's, I think the Amen DNA in this kind of overpowers what the, um, Tyramagoy was trying to get with the leather. I mean, if you're looking for an Amen with a little less tar, because a lot of people don't like the tar, then this is good. This is a good alternative. But, I mean, for 41 bucks for this bad boy, how, you really can't go wrong. It's a good fragrance for only 41 bucks. How could you go wrong, right? After, I, think, I think this is the cheapest Amen I've ever acquired. And it's real. I think it is. It's going on for Amazon. Where's the box? Yeah, I think, yeah, this all looks real to me. I don't see any glaring differences. It came with a little invitation card with it. I mean, I think it's real. So, this is a lot more subtle, and it's nowhere near as beast as the original as it comes to projection longevity. That's for damn sure. This one you could probably wear... All of fall, all of winter, and maybe spring nights. I would not. I wouldn't really put this on spring days. Depends on what part of spring. And I wouldn't even touch this during the summer because something like this isn't very pleasing in hot weather, no matter how weak it is. But what are you gonna do? So yeah, guys. Um, my first initial impression on this is I was kind of let down. I was hoping for more leather, more of an animal kick to it, a lot more darker, a lot more um kind of spunky than it really is. I mean, it's, considering how, how great pure malt and pure leather is, I was, I'm sorry, pure malt and pure Havan was, they're, they're really good. I was expecting the leather to be just as good, but. Now, actually now, right now, the leather's coming about a little bit and the um, Amen is taking the back seat. But, yeah, yeah, you know when you're driving in a car, someone, you're in the front seat, but someone in the back seat, you can hear, they're so annoying. It's kind of like that. But it's not annoying, but you can just, you know, even though it's in the back seat, you know it's still there. So, um, yeah, there are first initial impressions. I mean, it's okay. It's probably one of my least favorites as of now, but as I wear it more and more and get more um, familiar with who this bad boy is, I'll be able to give a better judge on it. But as of now... It's probably my least favorite out of all the Amens. But that doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just all the other Tamaglay fragrances are so good, it's hard for this to really make it up there. I mean, it's better than at least 20 or 30 other fragrances I have in my collection. So, Alright, well, enough rambling, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Holy crap, this is over 13 minutes? Wow. Okay, that's not that bad. I gave you some information, I guess, so... Yep. <clears throat> this has been Steven from Fragrance Lair. I hope you have a good day or night. I am not time zone prejudiced. And just smell good and keep happy and happy. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Bye.